what's going on guys so today we're back with another Pokemon Masters video and today we are going to go through the dreaded co-op without Brendan and Trico uh, so in the water type training event for the co-op we are basically going to be very very hindered because we do not have Brendan so at this point, I honestly am unsure on what the opposing team is going to have. What you're going to see in this video is completely the first time that I'm seeing this. This is honestly the first time that I'm going into this. I have no idea what's about to happen. Uh, it only recommends grass types, so that does mean that there is a three for three in terms of the amount of types that we need to bring in being grass. That means the only type that we need to bring in is grass. Uh, all of the Pokemon on the enemy team are going to be weak to it. Therefore, I feel like I have my best chances bringing all grass type attackers, but considering that um, good old Erica and good old Ramos here, are not really that great at attacking, I kind of want to try something different. I'm not 100% sure what kind of attacks we're going to see. I mean, I know water type attacks are basically going to be the big thing, so that makes me feel like I can safely bring in someone else. Maybe if I bring in Hal, I feel like I would be okay here, uh, only because Hal is going to be able to push tons and tons of special uh, attack damage while uh, Lyra and Rosa are boosting him there. So as you can see, that's what we're going to try to run with. We only need a strength of 10,400, so it's not like we're really going to be like super hurting, but hopefully, see, I knew it. I knew it. I'm going to, I feel like I'm pretty much going to get carried, uh, especially on the, uh, the harder match instead of these, this uh, normal one here. So let's just see how we can do it. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so X special attack on me. And uh, I am gonna go ahead and use a Alolan Breeze. Uh, I'm ready to attack whenever they are, but basically I don't I just don't have any of these. Okay, so he's still using uh, No Turning Back. I'm gonna go ahead and start, because uh, I want to get this, there we have Leaf Storm already showing up. So I really want to start this uh, this Unity Unity Gauge like as quickly as possible. Okay, so we got it right there. So that should be one. Uh, we have myself in two, and then we have the third one there. So knocking it out of the park here. Hopefully, yeah, I'm, I'm totally getting carried. Like, I am, this is gonna be horrible. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, and we'll do, you know, like a tiny bit of damage there. They do have that sweet shield up. Okay, sync move from the enemy team is gone. They have no Pokemon able to use it, so now we're just kinda gonna focus. And okay, I am gonna get super hard carried, but uh, I'm very sorry guys. I will just go with uh, Lyra here so that we can at least get a triple super effective damage unity attack. And there you go. Hopefully that does a fair bit of damage there. Should take out the Lapras. Yeah. And does decent damage to the... Uh, how much? How much? Uh, I have no idea what that Pokemon's name is, to be honest. Like I said, I'm really horrible with anything past Gen 4, so please don't kill me. Alright, so easy peasy there. Um, I kind of do feel like even though I don't have a great grass type attacker, maybe I should just start with Rosa and just be the support for the team. Uh, and then just kind of use like maybe Giga Drain to, I don't know, kind of just help fill the bar. But uh, there we go. So that is our first one. And we'll go ahead and try this second one here. We are going to go ahead and switch up the team. I'm not going to start with Hal. Uh, I don't think there's any, any sense in doing that. But okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put Rosa in the front here. And we'll move Hal. And um, I mean, honestly, I don't know like if I should... <sighs> I mean, I feel like between 
Erica and Ramos. Erica has a better chance, but honestly, neither one of them are great. Probably, actually, Erica is going to be way better in this instance because uh, Ramos's weakness to ice could end up giving us problems if Lapras is carrying any ice type moves. I don't know. Uh, obviously, I haven't seen the enemy's Pokemon. Uh, actually too far in action, so I don't know, but I can imagine that Lapras would probably have a nice type move. So let's go ahead and try this. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, hey guys, I'm the guy that doesn't have Brendan. Well, we do have an Olivia in here, so maybe uh, we're screwed, but hopefully we're not. Let's see if we can do this. Um, please carry me. Aww. And I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to go back to the Poke Center. Okay, um, well that sucked. Okay, the odds are completely against me, but if I go ahead and do the scouting now, it's possible that I get Brendan, right? <sighs> what am I gonna do? If I get Blue, that's great. If I get Brendan, that, that'll work out great for the rest of this event. Probably gonna be a three star though. So, I, I, uh, I mean, I'm hoping that this will help us. Just a regular antenna. What kind of doors do we got? Four star doors. And it's dark. Even freaking Roselia or Roserade. Roserade would have been amazing. But no, it wants to give me a dupe. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go in with the exact same team because there's nothing else that I can really do. I mean... I could use the uh, good old Koga strat where I just literally go in and try to poison it. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if maybe Let's Will would be better here or if I could try to do the poison method like we did with uh, Rapidash and Blaine. But I'm unsure on what, what Marlin has as far as passives. So we start with uh, Meganium and we're gonna throw up a, a light shield or a light screen and then immediately switch hoping to piggyback off of oh my God, hopefully piggybacking off of the other buffs that are going out but unfortunately it doesn't look like there are gonna be too many buffs uh, for the entire team so let's hope somebody has a right superior and I'll just switch into will as soon as I see a superior. Okay, so the, we do have two superiors coming up. So, go ahead and do this dire hit all. So that should raise Trico with his dire hit plus all the way up to full. And we will go ahead and throw out a light screen. Oh, we've already got a snarl coming out. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Well, I'm first on the dock to get hit here. So, Snarl, and let's try Leaf Storm, come on, let me, yeah, so there we got our Unity Gauge, already filled up, let's go ahead and get that Unity Bonus there, and I just, at this point I, I'm just trying to push any damage that I possibly can, that is a huge reduction in damage for Lyra, as you just saw, that is an amazing reduction, okay, Come on, Trico, do the work. There you go. That 1800, dude, that's sick. I'm uh, I'm kind of worried that he's lowering his special attack so much though. And considering unit bonus is going away, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the other sunny side up to give him back some of that uh, special attack, hopefully. Not nearly as much as he needs, but yeah, that's not bad. And then I'll use uh, our next light screen as soon as it goes away here. Ooh, we're gonna get the unity gauge back. Nice unity bonus. And this should actually give us a unity attack, right? Yes! Cool. So we are getting carried, I feel like, still, but not nearly as hard as uh, as I was expecting. Just one Brandon actually does a lot of work. So thank God he switched into freaking Superior there. So not nearly as much damage as I was hoping for, but let's go ahead and use this other light screen, and then we're gonna switch into uh, I don't know if I want to switch actually okay so the Trico goes down unfortunately yeah I'm, I'm actually gonna switch uh, because there's two superiors I hope they understand what I'm doing here uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try to confuse 
and this is gonna completely ruin my plan. Maybe. I don't know if this is gonna DQ or if it's gonna, if it if it completely faints me, it's gonna ruin my plan because it's gonna switch me into uh, superior instead. Oh, so close. Okay. So I'm not gonna get this first special attack all, but I will get the next one here from here the right side superior which should work out so confuse rate hopefully you know I'm just using it to kind of get it out of the way uh, there we go that special attack and we're actually gonna try our power is limitless because uh, that does if the target stats have been raised oh well that's probably not gonna do a whole lot my bad yeah it failed I know so we'll go ahead and use this sync move I that was dumb. I, I should have definitely went for stored power. Oh, well, no, never mind. Never mind. I thought the guy on the left was using something other than a sync move, but he is not. So, that does such little damage in this situation. Okay, so we just need the guy on the left to use any move. Any move would be amazing. Uh, our light screen is actually getting ready to disappear. Uh, let's see, Giga Drain. Okay, that works. So we're gonna get our unity gauge here. Hopefully filled completely up. Yes! So Marlin actually ends up fainting there. I, I can't remember his Pokemon's name. Caracosta is, sounds close. Um, so let's actually switch. No, there's that's way too uh, way too low. We'll go ahead and switch into the uh, superior here. Try to pull out some some more super effective damage so we can get this uh, unity gauge kind of reduced down for the unity or the uh, the next attack the unity attack we don't need too much more what do we got what do we got here he used to entertain me here we go. Not bad. Not bad. So we only need four bars to fill it up. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, another Giga Drain, hoping that we get enough bar here. Actually, we should actually get a Unity bonus, too. There goes that. Uh-huh. And then Snarl gives it to us. And we get a Unity bonus. Nice. And a Unity attack. Yes. Nice. I don't think he has any other grass type Pokemon though. He had Erica, but did Erica faint already? Uh, maybe. I think he had Erica. I can't remember. I'm, I have a horrible memory. Decent damage. Decent damage. Uh, we'll go ahead and I'm going to use a time to energize after this one. And let's hope that gives some bar back. Yeah, that sync move. Unfortunately, but he does still have okay. He still has Roserade, so that's nice. Roserade and the uh, good old Leaf Storm are gonna do some work there. Um, I'll go ahead and use the next special attack all. Hopefully, powering up this uh, this Roserade enough. Don't die. Oh man! I feel like that was our saving grace, and it just got swept out from under our feet. That's not good. Oh, don't be using Bite, man. Sync move. Did I get it? Thank you. Hopefully, hopefully this is going to do enough. Please. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Unlike in the rating event where I got completely carried in co-op, I feel like I didn't get as carried here, even though <laughs> I definitely didn't do as much damage as I possibly could. Uh, considering I don't have some of the uh, sync pairs that I really, really need, and I did okay. So, awesome. That actually makes up for that. So, I guess since we've already done our uh, sync pair scouting, there's not really a big reason to, uh, to do another one. But we will, just because it, it feels wrong to uh, not end a video on it. So let's go ahead and claim some of these events here so holy cow that's 200 and that's 230 gems in total not bad so let's go ahead and head over here that kind of pays us back for uh, part of what we spent earlier so considering that we still need blue we're gonna go on the blue banner if we get anything but a double 
A dupe, I would be happy. Anything except a dupe. I'm trying to fill the Pokedex. Please, DNA, if you can... Okay, that's this has happened several times tonight. I don't know what in the world is going on. Okay, let me do a Sync Bear Scout, please. I'm gonna go to Brandon. I mean, <laughs> blue. And we're gonna hit yes. Please don't connection. Thank you. Okay, so now that we can finally end this video, let's throw that down. What do we got? Just at, at least, oh boy. Now I'm excited. Now I'm excited. What do we got? Five star doors, four star doors. Dude, how? How do I have all these four stars? Like, but not the ones that I need. Bruh, come on. I would even have been fine with freaking Roserade. Okay, anyways, unfortunately, that's just how it goes sometimes. But that is actually going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm now going to go grind out these voucher C's so that I can uh, exchange for the gym notes and all that good stuff. But until our next video, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Always remember that the Discord link is down in the description below. And until our next video, I will see you then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, always remember that if you like to like videos, you could do that. But if you don't, you could be that guy. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you have to say down in the comments below about the video. I do highly appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to support me in any way, there are several links down in the description for Patreon, uh, joining the community here on YouTube, or even just directly PayPal if that's your thing. I greatly appreciate everyone's name that's on screen as you guys have showed some sort of support outside of just viewing the videos. And I thank you guys, you, you don't understand from the bottom of my heart. So until our next video guys, I will catch you then.